In this video, we'll be looking at Cutout Studio, a tool that features in Serif Draw Plus, Web Plus, and Page Plus. It allows you to cut subjects out of images. From there you can manipulate the subject further, such as superimposing it onto a different background. The Cutout Studio is accessed from the Context Toolbar when you have a picture selected. Once it has analysed the picture, its feature window will appear. From here you can begin straight away by click-dragging on the image to discard areas around the subject. As you can see, we've very easily selected the background of this image, leaving just the flower. We can go ahead and click Preview, which will replace the background with a transparent mat. With the marching ants outline, it's difficult to see the edges of our cutout, so we can disable this by unchecking Show Outline on the top toolbar. For now, we can click OK, and we'll see our cutout image on the document, which we can then click drag around. Generally, images that have simple backgrounds, such as monotone colours, work best for cutout work. For some images, you may need to use the zoom tool to do some more detailed cutting out. You can use Preview as a rough guide, then jump back in to make more changes. Other images can be more complicated. In this image, for example, the background and subject are similar in tone and colour, and we can see that Cutout Studio has discarded the tips of the wings. In this case, we can switch to the Keep brush and paint the tips back in. We can adjust our brush size on the top toolbar, either by using preset buttons or by modifying the slider. We'll also move around the image and tidy up the cutout using a combination of the Keep and Discard brush tools. Adjusting the Grow Tolerance value will control how sensitive the edge detection is. Smaller values will allow for finer, more accurate work, whereas larger values are more suitable for covering bigger areas. Another feature of Cutout Studio is the ability to change the preview mode. On the left-hand toolbar, we can select a tinted preview, which will highlight discarded areas in red and kept areas in green. Again, we'll turn off the outline to better see the edges. We can also switch to the transparent preview mode, which will help to highlight very clearly any areas that require tidying. In the case of this image, some of the edges are very fine and quite difficult to work with, and the preview looks jaggy. Rather than painstakingly working around the entire image, we can achieve a good result by adjusting the output settings. We'll change the output type from an alpha-edged bitmap to a vector-cropped bitmap, which will present us with some more flexible options. Simply by increasing Feather and clicking Preview, we can note an improvement in the output quality. Increasing it further blurs the edges somewhat, but we can experiment with the Smoothness slider to find a setting that will yield a suitable result. Inflate is also useful as it expands or contracts the cutout area. In this case, we can contract the area to ensure we're not including any of the background. Finally, we can click Preview to ensure we're happy with the changes, then click OK to produce our cutout. That's all for this tutorial on Cutout Studio. For more information, see the Help documentation and the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thank you for watching.